Shiver me timbers, this mountain is really cold. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of my Indigo Disc Journey. Today we are here in the Icy Mountains because we have only one more Blueberry Elite Four member to face, and that is none other than Dryton himself the dragon type user and the last one we fought Lacey and her fairy team which was quite difficult so I am a hundred percent expecting this to be a very tough battle and if we win it'll basically allow us to go ahead and fight Kieran the current champion of Blueberry Academy uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and crash this party and get it started. I'm curious to see what his little trial is gonna be before I can fight him. Welcome to the Polar Plaza. We're the team that supports Drayton of the Elite Four. And you're Shadow, right? One of the BB League challengers. The one and only. You'll need to hand over 50 BP if you want to take on the trial here. Are you ready and willing to pay? Yep, you can take my money so I can go beat him up. Whoa, hold up, my friend gets in free. Really? Uh, are you sure, Dreister? The rules say... Just charge it to my account. That ought to take care of it, yeah? That's not... Okay, understood. I'll make an exception. Many thanks, my man. There's my champ in the making. Thanks for coming. Let's hit the battle court real quick. Wait, no trial? We're just gonna straight up battle him without a trial? Feast your eyes on the ma on the majesty of the Polar Plaza battle court. It is pretty nice. Nah. It basically the exact same battle court as in the other plazas, but colder. I'm a cold weather kind of guy. Not what you'd expect from a dragon type user, right? Anyhow, buddy, you came to do my elite trial. Not listen to me ramble, so let's hop to it. I call my elite trial Terrarium Only Battles. Your goal is to clobber three of your fellow league clubbers in battle. Simple enough, right? But it's called Terrarium only for a reason. You can only use Pokemon that meet two conditions. First, they gotta be Pokemon that were caught in living wild in the Terrarium. Second, you gotta be the one who caught them. Unless your whole party of Pokemon meets those conditions, no elite trial for you. I know I'm asking a lot, but what fun it would be if you just dipped your toes into your beefy vault of Pokemon, cheesed your way through. Your opponents are under the same conditions, so you can't be too mad about it. What do you say, bud? Ready for my elite trial? Uh, I don't have anyone on my team currently that has met those conditions, but I'm going to see if he lets me if I say I'm ready. That's your cue, underlings. Come on out. Oh, so I guess I don't have to deal with that. Hello, I'm ready. Let's go. My trial is about skill, but it's chill. Take it at whatever pace you want. If you want to dive right into battling, your three clubmates go nuts. Rather stroll around the terrarium catching Pokemon first, no problem. So go on, get out there and chill it up. Good luck everyone and give it your best shot. Oh wait, so do I have to go catch the Pokemon? Um, huh. Let me make sure I am doing this correctly. Uh, so I just walk up to one of them and say, hey, I want to battle. I love Pokemon with some brittle gray tones. Ready to battle me? Uh, sure. 
gracious me, your Pokemon don't meet the trial conditions. Come back with only Pokemon you've caught here yourself. Oh no. I actually do have to go catch Pokemon. Thankfully, I've caught a few that I do want to use. I just need to make sure they are leveled up real quick. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. I do have a brand new team of six put together, but I am not too confident because of the short notice that I had to, you know, put the team together. But we have Dura Ludon, Golurk, Renu Euclid, Sand Slash, a low one form, uh, Rhydon, and Metagross on our team. I leveled them all up to level 70, so... I'm pretty much gonna hope that it is enough to take down all three of these guys. I'll be a little upset if they aren't, but I'll make sure to do my best. Now then, bring it on! This is Craig, the student. Surely his team's not too tough, right? Alright. So we got basically four tanks on the field right now. So this could go either way. Now, first things first. I think I want to go ahead with Verduan. I'm gonna go ahead and Metal Burst. I don't know who that's gonna affect, but I know it's gonna affect someone. And then I am gonna go ahead and use... I'll use Shadow Punch on the Bastiodon. Oh, okay, so that's unfortunate that the Metal Burst does nothing. So I will not be relying on that move too much. Ouch, that kind of hurt. Alright then, so I think I'm gonna go ahead with a Dragon Claw on Rampardos. And then Phantom Force the Bastiodon. Get him, Golurk. He's actually one of my favorite Gen 5 ghost types. So I'm glad I actually do get to use him here. But we do gotta be a little bit careful. These guys are not playing games. But neither are we. I'm really happy that I chose these two to be my, like, double battle combo. They seem very effective at taking damage for each other and covering each other's weakness. Plus, they look really cool side by side. Uh, let's go ahead and hyper beam him. And then Shadow Punch again. Ah, we didn't even need the Hyper Beam. That's good for us, I suppose. So that means we win this battle. Your Pokemon are like gems. Thank you, I just got them. Next up is this trainer. I'm quite the cool customer. Ready to shiver? Sure, even though I don't like the cold. But of course, we're going to have to fight them in this weather anyway, so let's do our best against the student named Winter. Okay, that's actually a really cool name. So we will be taking out her Pokemon as fast as we can. Unfortunately, our Golurk is not too healthy here. So I think what I'll do is... That's gonna hurt my Durduan. But Earthquake is my best option. And hopefully... oh, I thought it would take some of them out. Ah, not my finest moment, but it's alright. Golurk did good. That just means I can use another Pokemon that I haven't used before. Which... 
Actually, I have used all these Pokemon before in one way or another. But I think I will go with Sand Slash here. Just to give him a chance to shine. So... Flash... You know what? No. Hyper Beam. Wait, it said it wasn't effective. Ah, I'll do it anyways. I will Hyper Beam. And... Maybe Ice School Spear the Dugon? Oh no! Sand Slash avoided the... Okay, that did not do a lot of damage. Ah, uh, I probably should have used a different move. Hmm, that wasn't a whole bunch of damage. Porter Duon, though, he is definitely hanging in there. So, I think it'll be best if I just switch Pokemon. Sand Slash just isn't good against this smash-up here. So go, Ranunculus! Ooh, that did nothing. Uh, sorry, Durdulon. I should hopefully be able to heal them after this fight. Because Golurk is definitely a heavy hitter that I need. Okay, I guess it's time for Rhydon to show up. And I'm going to go ahead and use Earthquake and hope for the best. I will use the Psychic move on Sand Slash because I think it'll survive the Earthquake. Ouch, that hurt. Um, okay, things are looking a bit rough. Ooh, okay. Earthquake for the win. That is pretty lucky on our part. So, that is all she has. I'm definitely gonna heal up our Pokemon. I can see why Drayson likes you. Thank you. Okay, so before we take on the last few, it does look like I can heal, so I'm gonna do that. Alright, time for the last guy. You know Iono, the streamer? I use the same type of Pokemon as her. Ready for a shock? Oh, he's an electric type user. Alright. So he's an Iono wannabe, or an Iono simp. I could definitely see him being a simp. But don't worry, we are here to crush his dreams with a Pokemon battle. The only thing I have to worry about is the Magneton, because I cannot Earthquake that. Let's see here. Uh, nothing effective against him with Durludon. But, I can Shadow Punch him. So, let's see how this is gonna go. So, Dragon Claw and the Zip Striker almost takes him down. And I could have done a little more on the Magneton, but I think we still did a decent amount. So, we are gonna Dragon Claw again. And I think Phantom Force this time. Hey, don't attack the Golurk. He hasn't messed with you, Zip Striker. Oh well. Bye, Zip Striker. It was nice knowing ya. Now then, Golurk, use Phantom Force. Bye bye. Now then, let's see if Duraludon can actually take out this Magnezone before Golurk comes back. Ah, uh, not quite, but that's okay. That's where Golurk comes in. I'm actually really liking these two as a duo. I was worried about having to use new Pokemon from the Terrarium, but I actually enjoyed it quite a bit.
I've defeated your underlings. So that makes, let's see, one, two, three. Nice, you went and beat all three of them. Which means this elite trial is elite complete. Ah, I see what he did there. But now it's my turn to go fight him. All right, my league club assistants retreat on the double. Goodbye, good battle, see ya. Aren't they great? No grumbling or nothing. Bunch of sweethearts. Yeah, they are pretty great. Ah, the time's come. Looks like it's finally time for you and me to battle. Guess you're still using the party you put together for my challenge, huh? Go ahead and take a second to change it up. Unless you want to dive right into battle. No, I, I want my team. It was interesting to use the new team for the challenge he had, but... I like my other team better. Alright, now I have my official team and I'm ready to fight Drayton, the last member of the Elite Four. Ready to take me on, bud? Yes, yes we are. Alright, it's on. Ah man, this is gonna be the toughest and scariest battle. I can just feel it. Hmm, here should be good. You know, I was thinking about the look you get when you battle. And I realized I've only ever seen you like that from the sidelines. Guess now I know what it's like to face you from across the court. Let me be real, I'm counting on you to conquer the whole BB League, bud. I mean it, I need you to pull this off. You gotta come through for me. That said... I'm not just gonna roll over and miss out on the fun, so watch out. But no need for us to get all official or anything. Just battle me like... Just battle me normally like you would anybody else, Shadow. Here's the 100% Dreister truth. I'm so psyched I'm practically tingling. So why don't we get this rolling nice and easy? Let's go, bud. Show me a good time. Bring it on, Dryden. We are gonna take you down and your dragon team. I am so prepared for this. On second thought... Don't let me down, bud. No one wants to see me ugly cry. Um, alright, so he's starting off really strong with Flygon and Dragonite. I did not prep for that, but I'm going to do my best regardless. I think the bigger issue is going to be the Dragonite. So I should probably focus my energy on him first. Oh no, they're doing Earthquake already? That is not good. I might have to get Gardevoir in here really soon. Because, like I said, I didn't think his team would be this stacked already. Okay, let's see if we can recover from this. I know they're going to do another Earthquake. I can't afford to take an Earthquake, so I will try to Home Claws Mabostiff. And... I will try to then... Let's see... Yeah, I'll Stomping Tantrum the Flygon. Oh no... Um, that's not good. Oh no, I might lose Mabostiff here too. It looks like the Flygon is holding a type of life orb based on how it's acting. 
So it may be able to like take itself down. So next up, I am going to go with Gardevoir. I need her to do her job as the Dragon Slayer. Now, first things first, I think I'll let Mabustiv take care of the Dragon Knight. Ooh, do I want to use Fairy or Ice? I'll use Icy Wind. That seems a lot more effective. Oh no! Mabustiv! Not good. I hope his entire team doesn't do that. Oh no, Gardevoir! This is not looking good for me. Okay, there goes Flygon. Whoa, not a lot of types can make me eat super effective hits. All right, so if I can just keep the Gardevoir going strong, I might be able to turn this around. I already lost two Pokemon though. Uh, let me think. I think I will give Palmont a shot at this. Oh no, Haxorus! Okay. Um. Do you have anything effective for that? You have big and close combat, but that wouldn't be good. I am 90% sure that Haxers has Earthquake. So what I will do is, Palma is gonna heal Gardevoir, and Gardevoir is gonna use Icy Wind again. Keeping Gardevoir alive is pretty much my entire strategy at this point. Oh no, extreme speed. I knew it! Haxorus has Earthquake. Oh no. And it wasn't enough to take down the Haxorus either. So I'm thinking... If I keep healing... Oh, he has a Sceptile. Um, I'm super sorry about this, Palmot. But if we are going to win this, I kind of need Gardevoir to, you know, do her icy magic. Uh, yeah, that should be super effective on Sceptile as well. I just have to be careful and hope that... Both of them aren't faster than me. Oh, they are. This earthquake might take me down. Oh. Wait, is he gonna earthquake? I don't think he's gonna earthquake this time because of Sceptile. I could be wrong. Huh. Oh, nope, he's going Earthquake. Ooh. I'm sorry, Palmot. Uh, okay, so... Let's see. I know that the Skeptile might be faster. I think I'm gonna risk it. And throw out Skeledurge. Yeah, I'm gonna take the risk and hope that both of my team members are faster. Oh no! Skeptile was still faster. Um. I'm in danger. All right, all right. I need to get Gardevoir back up and out here. I don't know. I feel like I might be fine. 
Kingdra. I see. So here is what's going to happen. I'm going to have faith in my Pokemon and have Skeledurge. I'm going to have Skeledurge use Shadow Ball on Hexers and... Oh, so he hasn't even terrestrialized yet. He has one more Pokemon left. So I do have to be super careful. Oh, that did a lot more than I expected. And so did that. Okay, okay, so I'm 100% thinking I'm going to have to use a Max Revive here. Unless... What are you? Arcaludon. Oh right, you're that new evolution. So I'm gonna terrestrialize. Because I feel like that's the Pokemon he is 100% terrestrializing. And Ogre Pond, I want you to do your thing and smack him with that giant grass club you got. Here we go, the terrestrialization war. Let's see who's gonna come out on top. Will it be me, the champion of Paldea, or the Elite Four Dryton? Now watch this dragon's blood boil. Take control, Ar Archaludon. Man, he looks so happy to like terrestrialize his Pokemon. Oh boy, this is where the real battle starts. Let's just hope we have enough power to actually take it down. If it has Earthquake, though, it's over. So, please be enough. Ooh, it's very tanky. Oh, it defense throws. Uh, who's he aiming that at? Ogre Pond! Oh no, um... We are so close to winning. I can't risk losing, so I will use one of my max revives on Gardevoir. Because I know she has Icy Wind and that Moon Blast. And then I'm gonna hope that Skullodurge can hang in just a little longer. Oh yeah, I think he'll definitely survive now that Gardevoir is up. Now then, with their powers combined, we shall burn it with fire and blast it with the light of fairies. Aha! Victory! I kind of wish I used a regular revived instead of a max revive now, but it happens. There we go, we defeated him, and he's happy. That's what I'm talking about. Nice, we actually beat him. Are you proud of me? Man, that was ridiculous. So much fun. I knew inviting you to join the Lee Club was the right move. And I guess if you can beat me, we better make you a full member. Finally, what do you say? Ready? To be a real deal? Yeah, let's do it. Bless you and your generous heart. Come on, let's get a photo of you for the club roster. All right. Look at us. We're the best of buds. Don't tell Arvin. Lacey probably would have wanted a more serious photo. She might not be thrilled, but oh well. I feel like there was one more thing I'm supposed to do. Oh yeah, we gotta give TMs to whoever can beat us Elite Four members. 
I gotta go grab that. Wait here a second. Oh, all right. I guess I can wait for him a little bit. Sorry for the hold up. I'm back. That's the BB League Elite Four all beaten. You schooled every elite one of us. Here's your reward, like I said. Oh, Dragon Cheer. Interesting. Alright, so it basically is a power up for dragon moves. Guess I should have cleaned it, but what's a little dust between friends? Man, it's like I blinked and you'd plow through the whole BB League. You know what's next for you, right, bud? You're good enough to be all Elite Four of us. So you and only you have the right to challenge the sitting BB League champion, Kieran. Ah, speak of the devil. He really kept me waiting. Took you a while to beat the Elite Four. Kinda slow for you, isn't it? Hey, you better watch it. Nice, Kieran. You've really got Shadow on the brain, huh? I could say the same thing about you, Drayden. You sure are putting a lot of effort into helping Shadow out. Who wouldn't help out a new student? Gotta be good to our fellow humans. That's rich coming from you. Whatever you're planning, it's about to come to an end. Shadow. Let's settle who's the strongest between us two once and for all. It's finally time. I pumped for you. We'll have to go sign you up at the front desk to get your championship match going. No sense waiting around. Let's go. Oh boy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually a bit nervous for what's about to happen with Kieran. He's kind of... He's a lot different from when we last saw him. He has a much more sinister vibe, too. But if I were to take a guess, I feel like Drayton was purposely putting us up to this so that way we can hopefully knock some sense back into him. But we will have to deal with that in the next episode to settle things once and for all with Kieran, champion of the BB League. So if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like and subscribe for more content like this, and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye bye